Welcome everybody to the Latin Nerds Network. My name is Jose and this is my review for Shogun. Shogun, a new series set to debut on the 27th on FX. It's also going to be on Hulu and Disney Plus, depending on what region of the world you're in. Now, normally I don't review TV shows in this particular format. I have a show called The Watch List here every Sunday. Me and my co-host Chewy, we review all the, all the shows and films exclusive to streaming that get released over the prior week. Give you our best recommendations, what to see, what not to see. And at the end of the show, let you know what's also coming out every week so you can create your very own watch list for yourself. That's here every Sunday. It's entirely just strictly TVs, documentaries, films, all streaming exclusive. Uh, but that being said, um, you know, I get a chance to see I got a chance to see this early on the big screen for the first two episodes. I figured, why not? I'll treat it like a film review because I got to see it as a film, uh, more, more or less. Now, this one here, uh, this is based off of, of a book, very popular, very well, very well done from what I understand. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, and it also was a miniseries back in the 80s, uh, which, again, I never saw. It's probably a little bit before my time. Uh, but it was very interesting. This one got a lot of good early buzz leading into it. Uh, this one starring uh, the great hero, Yoki Sanada, whom I'm a big fan of. I think we just saw him in, in John Wick 4. Um, he's done a lot of things, don't get me wrong. And Anna Sawai, who, if I'm saying her name right, who we just saw in uh, Monarch Le Legacy of Monsters on Apple Plus, which is actually a pretty good show if you're a fan of Godzilla. Uh, now this one here is uh, kind of you, you can hear the word sweeping epic a lot, right? It's basically what what this is, and this takes place in the, the year sixteen hundred in, in Japan. You have this, you know, obviously these, these I think five fac factions of uh, I guess samurai would be the best way to describe them. You know, Sanada is leader of one of them, and this, they have this council. This council, the other four, four there's five members of the council. The four are voting against him in terms of taking away his power, impeaching him, if you will, which pretty much means death and taking over his power, his land, his people, etc. And he's obviously trying to prevent that from happening. So there's a lot of kind of back alley treaties going on, a la Game of Thrones to a certain degree. Uh, but in the middle of all this, we have this uh, this pilot, uh, sailor, what pirate, whatever, uh, from uh, the land of England, who is finding a route to go to Japan to open up trades to help him out as his country. Of course, England is at odds with Portuguese and Spain during that time. He, you know, ends up in Japan. He gets captured, but he ends up, instead of dying, he ends up finding a way to be the key for Sanada to remain in power. And it's going to lead to much bigger things as he, he discovers what's really going on, particularly with the Portuguese, you know, occupying Japan and what their true intentions are, um, which I would assume is going to lead to them uniting the fight clans to fight against them to oust them from their land. That's kind of the gist of it. Um, it's very, very complex. There's a lot to it here, which I really love because this show... I thought was was really really well made uh, in terms of just technical aspect it looks great it's very authentic the way it looks um sonata they have an introduction by sonata beginning of the, of the show he talked about you know he they were really trying to get everything particularly right in terms of the time clothing speech the writing everything uh, to that time so it feels very authentic that's great great production value in this now you hear samurai thinking action and heads flying off and there's very little of that to be honest with you uh, which i'm okay with it's a more of a it's definitely a slow burn and that's not a bad thing it is not because it's building up and you can see where this is going and i'm asking you know trailers of the show in the next few episodes and this is leading to something much bigger so i can appreciate that kind of same similar to a game of thrones there where it's always like you know the second to last episode we got the big sweeping battle or something like that i can see this leading to something like that but we're getting a little far ahead of ourselves let's talk about this first two episodes again very very well executed in terms of production Really enjoyed it i really like the story very intricate but you know, it's a slow burn but you stick through it because it's, it's fascinating right to you know different cultures and what's going on during that time and you know all these people kind of positioning to make moving the chess pieces around positioning themselves in power uh you've seen sonata kind of really you know the gears in his head as he's trying to figure out how is he going to get out of the you know the burden of being impeached right by the other four members and using this guy who this pilot who you know, unbeknownst to him, he was just, you know, he didn't expect to find what he find. He, he thinks the Japanese were, were savages and they think the same of him. So very interesting, that, that dichotomy between them and how he, how he his, his character is being used by everyone else to gain more power or put yourself in a proper position, including Sonata's character. So I, I was all very, very, very well done. Um, very good story, very intricate, very engaging. And I think this one that it might not be for everybody. But ultimately, I'm really recommending you guys check out. At least give it a chance the first two episodes. Again, it's a slow burn. There's going to be, I'm sure, big battles down the road. And they've, they've teased that. So I'm looking forward to that. But those battles don't mean nothing if the lead up to it is not interesting. And this show is incredibly interesting. Fascinating. So I like 
the story and where it's going. The characters are very interesting. So a lot of great screen presence there. And again, and they just really set the table, right? This is what the first two episodes did. Or any good show should do is set the table. And if, as you continue watching, hopefully it begin to build off that. I think this, this show has gone off to a really good start in setting that table for us to see, oh, what's going to happen now? When, when the meal gets served, uh, you know, it, is it done properly? And so far, yes, it's been set up well. Hopefully, it continues to be a very good show as the first two episodes have indicated. Now, listen, there's only two episodes, so uh, this is not the whole show. It's not the whole series. This could very well tank in the last, I think, it's six, uh, eight episodes, total 10 episodes, or so eight more episodes coming. I doubt it based on what I've seen. You can tell there's a lot of love and care in the details that this show has in terms of production, the visuals, and, you know, some of the battles that I've seen a quick snippet of they look like it's going to be really good you know and when there are a few death scenes and they don't shy away from the blood so that that's so that's a good thing too because i like the little blood on the screen hey it went out right who doesn't but that being said this i think it's a show you guys should definitely check out again fx on the 27th dropping two episodes and then a weekly releases into the 10th one really i really enjoyed it very good show it, it is all mainly subtitled i know people you know get allergic to reading on screen i would assume there's an option to put it in, in english only whatever uh, but I like having it in Japanese because it adds to the authenticity of the show, right? If it's in English, it kind of loses something, particularly if it's dubbed. Your dub is never the same. It's not. But whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Me personally, I'll read, the, I'll read the subtitles. I'm okay. I can read. I'm a big boy. That being said, definitely check the show out. If you do, let me know what you guys thought. Again, catch us on the watch list to reviews of all the shows that come out on streaming. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe below and feed money to go to the movies and watch TV and talk about it afterwards. See you guys next time.